Welcome to NYC.com. This is Dangerous Diva. You're watching Welcome to NYC TV. We're still here at the movie premiere for The Other City. And I'm here with the very, very special guest tonight. This is the CEO of the Black AIDS Institute. He goes by the name of? Phil Wilson. Hi, Phil. Nice hey to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So I know this, you being the CEO of the Black AIDS Awareness, this something like this movie you would be proud of. No, absolutely. This is this is a very important film. You know, uh, people often think that the AIDS epidemic is over in America, and yeah, nothing could be further right. from the truth. Okay. You know, uh, the Black AIDS Institute is the only national HIV/AIDS think tank in the country that focuses exclusively on Black people. Now, because it's affected our community oh, so greatly. Absolutely. No matter how the you look at it, the numbers are lens, alarming. No, absolutely, absolutely. No matter how you look at it, through the lens of gender or sexual orientation or age or social economic class or level of education, Black people bear the brunt of the AIDS epidemic uh, in America today. I agree. It does not discriminate. It's a disease absolutely, that does not. Absolutely, and this absolutely. film really tells a story that needs to be told by people who need to tell it. Beautiful. You know, uh, mm -hmm. the people think that the AIDS epidemic packed up and went over to Africa, mm -hmm. and it didn't. No, it's alive and well uh, and, and living in America, and particularly living in black America. Mm -hmm. Now, I hear that an alarming 1.2 million Americans are affected by the virus and are living with it. and nearly 50 percent are african-american yes yes absolutely 1.2 million americans are living with hiv or aids and nearly half of them are black nearly half of the new hiv aids cases in this country are black there are 59,000 new aids cases every year mm -hmm. and nearly half of all aids related deaths in this country are black but but when you drill down when you look at among gay and bisexual men 30 percent of the new hiv aids cases uh, among gay and bisexual men are black uh, two-thirds of the new cases among women are black mm -hmm. now when you look at young people teenagers Teenagers. No, nearly 70% of the new HIV AIDS cases in this country among teenagers are wow. black as well. There's definitely uh, something that we can do about adolescents. And, a absolutely. And, and, and what, th what this film is really about is to remind us that, in fact, you know, you know, black people are resilient people. You know, mm -hmm. uh, We were greater than many of the challenges we've confronted in the past. Very we true. were greater than the Middle Passage. We were greater than slavery. We were greater than Jim Crow. We were greater than Reconstruction. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're greater than AIDS as well. Yeah. You know, uh, this film tells us that each and one of us uh, can do something about HIV. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, you start Beautiful. there. What would be the three top things for the teenagers and just anyone, not even teenagers, but anyone that is alarmed by the numbers and wants to know what they can do to help? Well, I think the first thing that people need to know is that there is something that you can do, mm -hmm. you know, that together we can end this epidemic, you know, uh, and the things are simple. Number one, get informed. You know, knowledge is a powerful tool in the war against HIV. Number two, get tested. You know, knowing your HIV status you know, can save your life. It's a right, it's a responsibility. Number three, that HIV is no longer the automatic death sentence that it once was. You know, mm -hmm. That there are treatments of avail are available. You know, I've been living with HIV for nearly 30 years now. You know, I'm alive today because I have the love and support of family and friends. I have access to care and treatment. Now, I'm a human testament of what can happen when people with HIV have the support that they need. And number four, you know, get involved. Mm -hmm. You know, that we sit back on the sidelines thinking that it's someone else's problem right. and, and it really is our problem. Mm -hmm. We as a people need to stick together and get rid of this. Absolutely. We can do it. You heard it from the CEO of the Black AIDS Institute. This is Dangerous Diva and we're signing out. Peace. Thank you. Welcome, Welcome to, to NYC.com.